If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering when you need to transfer this from your old phone to your new phone. Today I'm going to show you when. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you and in today's video we're going to talk all about the SIM card that is in your phone. So this little tiny guy is the SIM card. Now the SIM card used to be used a lot for transferring your contacts to old phones, but the main portion of what the SIM card is used for is the data of your phone. So you only get phone calls, text messages, browsing the web, downloading and syncing everything if you have this in your phone and you don't have a Wi-Fi connection. So you need to make sure that you have this transferred from your old phone to your new phone. So maybe you're about to do the smart switch or transfer your data. When should you transfer this over? So my recommendation is that you do it after you have transferred everything from your old phone to your new phone is why I do that is because once you plug this into your phone, you're going to start using it. And if it is transferring data, so everything is syncing over to your old phone, it's going to be using a lot of battery. And then if you plug this in, you're going to start using the phone. So you're going to start calling or texting, and then it's just going to bog down the phone a lot. Your battery is going to go really quick and you'll be wondering why your new phone doesn't have great battery. So make sure you transfer everything over from the old phone to the new phone first. Then once it's finished the transfer in the box, you get this little SIM card ejector. So all you need to do is go into the phone. Here in the top, you can eject the SIM card. So there I can pull that out. And then I can take that and place it into the new device. So I can open this up the same way. On the newer Samsung phones, you have that slot for the SD card. And then the SIM card will just snap into the tray. Make sure you have it aligned with the notch right there in the bottom corner. So then you take that and plug it in here. And sometimes it will ask you to reset the phone. So I do recommend resetting the phone once you put it in the new device. And all you need to do to do that is hold down the power and then click reset. And that will just reset the phone real quick, turning off, turning back on so that you have your data and your text messaging and phone calls all back on the new phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. And if you have any further questions or comments, please leave that below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.